Henry Blair. Born 1804, died 1860. African American inventor. Henry Blair is the first man to be identified as a black on a U.S. patent award. Blair was born in Glen Rose, Maryland in 1804. Almost nothing is documented about his life. It is assumed he was a free man because slaves were prohibited by law from applying for patents. When Blair was born, there were about 60,000 free people of color in the United States. The U.S. Patent Act of 1790 did not exclude free blacks from obtaining patents, but data on an applicant's race was not usually recorded on a patent application or award. Blair is the first black on record to be awarded a patent, which was granted in 1834 for his, for his design for a corn seed planter. Blair's design, according to drawings, according to the drawings that accompanied his patent application, featured a seed hopper on a two two wheel cart. A V shaped extension on the front of the cart was the mounting for a blade that dug a furrow. A harrow, a frame with heavy spikes, was added to the back of the cart. Because two long handles extend from the cart at the rear of the hopper. The device looks as if it were meant to be pushed, but it probably could have been hitched to a horse or mule. The user could drape the animal's reins over the handles and use the handles to guide the device in straight furrows. As the planter was pushed or dragged, the front blade broke the earth. The hopper dropped seed evenly in the furrow, and the harrow pushed soil over the newly planted seeds. Blair's invention combined three separate operations plowing, seeding, and covering seed with soil into one task. In 1836, Blair was granted a second patent for a cotton seed planter based on the design for his corn planter. Although Blair is the first black identified as an inventor by the patent office, research indicates that others preceded him, although race was not listed on their patent applications. Although race was not listed on their patent applications. Several sources list Thomas L. Jennings as the first black patent holder in the United States, a tailor who lived in New York. Jennings patented a method for dry cleaning clothes in 1821. Henry R. Baker, the first black examiner in the U.S. Patent Office, compiled the list of early black inventors, which he published in a pamphlet, The Colored Inventor, in 1913 the 50th anniversary of the Emancipation Proclamation. He acknowledges Blair's pa place as the first black man identified as an inventor on a patent, but describes inventors and inventions that predated Blair's patent awards. He notes such people as Benjamin Banacker of Maryland, who invented a sophisticated timepiece prior to his death in 1806, James Fortin, who designed a device to manage ships' sails well before his death, in 1842, and Robert Benjamin Lewis of Maine, credited with developing an oakum picker, which Baker noted was, quote, in use today, 1913, in all the essential particulars in its original form by the shipbuilding interests of Maine, especially at Bath, unquote. Despite the fact that Blake began compiling information on black inventors at a time when many innovators were still alive, he faced considerable difficulty in gathering information. Racism proved a stumbling block, as he wrote in his pamphlet, which was issued as a reprint in 1988. Quote, Sometimes it has been difficult to get this information by correspondence, even from colored inventors themselves. Many of them refuse to acknowledge that their inventions are in any way identified with the, color, with the colored race, on the ground presumably that the publication of that fact might adversely affect the commercial value of their invention. And in view of the prevailing sentiment in many sections of our country, it cannot be denied that much reason lies at the bottom of such conclusion. One practicing attorney writing from a small town in Tennessee said that he not only has never heard of a colored man inventing anything, but that he and the other lawyers to whom he passed the inquiry 
in that locality were, quote, inclined to regard the whole subject as a joke, unquote. At the end of his pamphlet, Baker wrote that he intended to compile a book to deal more fully with the contributions of black inventors to the advancement of science and technology. The book was never written. Baker himself faded into the kind of obscurity that has hidden the achievements of Blair and other black inventors. Citations and sources are in the description.